in the 2007-2008 redevelopment, um, these developers bought the building and were paying occupational rent. And for some reason, people moved out in a huge hurry. And in the actual apartments that had been recently vacated, you know, it was just like, you know, it looks like, looked like the place has been trashed. And in the rubble on the floor of these apartments, we found all these very personal belongings. When we were initially in the space, there was a lot of absence of people opposed to a building full of life. So we really had traces of a history. So it was very much this intuitive process of walking through the space and finding fragments. I'm quite a neat freak, so I wasn't into picking it all up, but Patrick <laughs> persisted. <laughs> and uh, um, Thankfully so, because we have this quite amazing archive that we feel like tells a lot of the stories of people who have lived there that we couldn't tell. Um, you know, through our own photographs, um, the kind of, we call it ghost voices of people who, whose lives have mo moved in and out of the building and, and who represent kind of different periods in the building's history. In a way it was, and it is a way of showing the passing of time. And you have that in a way that would, would have been impossible for us to do because a lot of the most intimate moments of all really come from, um, fragmented parts of histories that we never witnessed. It was quite amazing when you're kind of rummaging through just stuff on the floor of an abandoned apartment to find a fragment of the same photograph. We knew it would be key to whether we could say anything about this building would be trying to find a way of expressing the kind of overlaying narratives that we experience. So the fact that one person's story might be completely opposite to somebody else's story and truth and fiction about the building kind of overlap and it's, it's yeah, literally about pinning things on top of each other and allowing some things to recede and some things to come forward and, and using that, to, that kind of method to construct narrative. It allows a much greater depth and scope of the period of time that we spent within the building and it's a way of integrating things, I mean quite literally. Mm -hmm.